Hi, I'm Cher, and I'm a product manager on the Gemini API team. Today, I'll talk with you about the Google Generative Language API Semantic Retriever, along with the attributed question answering model. The new Semantic Retriever API is a managed service that allows you to perform a semantic search over a set of documents. It returns the most relevant passages given a query. The passages retrieved, in turn, can be used to ground LLM responses. This is a framework of Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, and it's the main way you can use the API. However, general purpose models are often not designed to generate answers grounded in passages. In particular, if the question cannot be answered by the context provided in the prompt, they tend to answer the question anyway, creating a source of hallucination. That's why we fine-tuned a model to especially be good at answering questions over passages. This model is called Attributed Question Answering, or AQA. It is offered as an endpoint in the Gemini API. The AQA endpoint provides significantly better quality versus generalized models. Besides state-of-the-art quality, the Semantic Retriever API is also easy to use. It comes with a managed vector database optimized for flexibility and ease of development. It also offers direct integration with Llama Index and LangChain. Furthermore, we offer access control for your corpora so you can limit which users or groups can perform retrieval on a corpus or grant access to anyone. Let's see how to use the new developer services in action. Say you want to build a chatbot that can talk to the Google for Developers blog. The first step is to create a corpus that will contain your documents and chunks. You can add a maximum of 10,000 documents per corpus and five corpus per project. As an example, we've chosen the article published on the project IDX on the Google blog. The next step is to chunk the documents for HTML. Google has provided an open source HTML chunker, which allows you to specify the number of words per chunk, as well as the tags to exclude. You can also use chunkers from Llama Index or LangChain. Once you have the chunks, you make batch requests to the API. You will see the number of chunks that have been created. You can list the chunks and make sure their state is active before you query the corpus. To retrieve the relevant passages when the user asks, for example, what is the purpose of Project IDX? Use query corpus request. And you can see we get back five chunks as we requested as well as the relevance score of each chunk. To get an LLM grounded response, you can use our AQA endpoint, which is called Generate Answer. Simply provide the corpus resource ID and the user query. If the user asks, what is the purpose of Project IDX? You get back a grounded answer from the LLM. Project IDX is designed to make it easier to build manage and deploy full-stack web and multi-platform applications with popular frameworks and languages. You also get the citation and the answerable probability, which is 1.0 in this case. There are other functionalities of the API. To get started, visit the Generative AI documentation site and try out the Getting Started collab.